Hey, it's Art Gelwix again. Uh, there was a great question posted in the OneNote for Professionals Facebook group that really got me thinking. And the question was about how do you use OneNote to organize client materials? And the reason why I thought it was such a good question is because it has no answer, no specific one, no best recommended practice. Uh, and those are my favorite ones to try and dig into. So what I thought I'd do is I'd take a little bit of time and we could talk through some of the ideas are, of ways to applying OneNote to managing client-specific information. Now I'm going to be using OneNote 2016 here just because it has the fullest set of features, but I would say for the most part this functionality works across Windows 10 and it also works through the browser interface. So let's start off with something simple and straightforward here. The first question is really how are we going to get started? And when I mean how do we get started, what do we need? Is this a case where we need a single notebook, multiple notebooks? Uh, we need a special solution? We need a custom configuration? It's going to vary depending on what your ultimate objective is. But what I typically find is my definition for client content focuses on one, how will it be organized for my needs? How will it be organized to best communicate with the client? And ultimately, does it need to be shared? Because those three things, organizing for my needs, that's the most critical in my book because I need to use this information. However, if this is information that I need to share with the client or take information from that client and integrate into my notes, that two-way communication is really going to help me define how I set up OneNote. Ultimately, the third one is probably the most important, though, from an architectural design of the notebooks, and that's do I need to be able to take this content and provide it back to the client. Now one of the things as a rule that I don't do is I don't send OneNote notebooks to clients. I don't send a .one file. Uh, I think that's the extension. Anyway, I don't send a OneNote file because if I'm going to be sharing content with a client, I'm going to be sharing it two ways. One, as an email which there's a built-in feature within OneNote itself to be able to generate an email page. You can see it in the ribbon bar up here at the top. I like that feature especially to be able to communicate things as on the fly. The other option is to generate a PDF output by using an export. That gives me an opportunity to provide the content to the client in a way that is somewhat archival. I'm not looking Keep in mind, I'm not using this as a collaborative tool with the client. The idea here is to be able to share information back to them when they need it, but I still want to retain the gold copy of that information. So that's where these two pieces really come into play. When I start to think about how to model this, I then have to decide, well, what makes the most sense structurally inside of OneNote? So if we work backwards up through the list, the first decision I need to make is, will this content be shared? Will all this content that I have be shared? And if the answer is yes, then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dedicated notebook for that purpose. So as you can see here, I have a notebook now that I've created, Client ABC Notes. Why would I go through the effort of creating a dedicated notebook? Well, one, it allows me to keep each client set of information separate from the other. That way, let's say the, the worst case scenario happens and my OneNote notebook gets corrupted. Well, worst case is I lose one set of client notes that I have to recover from a backup. I'm not intermixing that content. But secondarily, and probably more important to me, is it helps me keep my thinking organized. I try to avoid bouncing back and forth between client work because it just becomes very distracting. Well, by dedicating a notebook, I'm in the notebook, all the content here is about this client, and it makes it very easy to maintain. 
The third part is tied to that sharing idea where I can go into file and I can say export and I can say notebook as a PDF file and that will allow me to dump this entire notebook out as one PDF file with all of its content. It doesn't take attachments, they don't they stay behind and I have to deal with those separately, but typically I don't put files in my OneNote notebooks anyway. Um, I'll keep them stored in the cloud. But being able to generate this PDF file means that then I can send all this content when I need to turn it over to a client in one file and send it over to them. Now this also works to my advantage if I have some content that will need to go to a client but other content that's proprietary or should not be turned over. That's when I can use the multiple sections. So I may say client metrics but I also may have relationship notes. Now the client metrics I'm totally fine with sharing with the client so then again I can say file export and select in this case the dedicated section and send it as a PDF file. You'll notice also that if you're going to export a section you have the option to choose other formats that you can't do at the notebook level. Um, some clients say they don't want it as a PDF file they want it as a Word document. Uh, okay I can send you as a Word, Word document. As I mentioned before, the one thing I don't typically do is send things out as a OneNote file. I've just found that causes too much confusion for certain people and I just leave that behind. Uh, the option to generate a single file web page, honestly, have never found a purpose for it. I mean, it's a feature. Okay, fine. I just don't use it. So if I think about back to my original premise here, my original questions, we have the ability then by using this structure, by creating a dedicated notebook for the client and then creating sections for the client content, I can then easily pick and choose the materials that need to go as an export if I'm going to send something back to them. It also becomes very useful if I have multiple projects going on for a specific client. I can go in and say project one or project two and then I could generate an export of just that projects output. It, it's really useful when it comes to that type of material to be able to hand that over to the dedicated audience, especially if you're dealing with a situation where you have multiple stakeholders and multiple people working on these projects. So it's always always useful with that. One of the questions I've also gotten is the idea of creating new section groups. So if I were to create a section group, uh, let's say around IT projects for a given client, and within that section group, I put in, ooh, project one and project two are both IT projects. And you can see here now that I'm within the section group. That's one way to do it. The problem I run into, though, is, see, you can't export a section group. You can only export a section. So you're still going to have to generate separate PDF files for these exports. The section group is literally just an organizational tool for yourself. It's not something that you're going to be using to organize content for your client. So some of the other things that you get into with managing information this way, and this is one of the reasons why I like using OneNote 2016 for this, with client related content is being able to do things such as pulling meeting details, being able to go in and look at the item, items on a meeting, clicking on it and having that content pulled out of Outlook and dropped right into your OneNote page so that you have not only when it was scheduled and what the activity was but also all your notes that are gathered. This is really useful in my book when it comes to client management because I take my notes here specifically and then I will go through and if I need to I can hit email page it'll generate an Outlook email and I can just send it right back to them after a little bit of editing to clear out the stuff that they don't need to see. So it's a great way to, to manage and also keep track of all of this stuff within a client notebook. So just long story short 
I would suggest if you're going to be using OneNote to manage clients, one notebook per client, put sections in the notebook relative to the various pieces of information that you need to manage for that particular client, and then work that way. Just keep in mind, though, that you don't have to. It's very easy to move sections between notebooks. It's very easy to create another notebook and transfer sections to that. So if you find you, you I don't want to say made a mistake, but you made a decision that's just not bearing out value in the long run, change it. Move content around. Reorganize your structure. Make it work for you. Don't restrict yourself to something that you made an early decision on and then as the life cycle of that relationship with that client has evolved is just not being practical anymore. Make those changes accordingly. So I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, if you like this and you find this is helpful, please ask more questions in the OneNote for Professionals Facebook group, or you can stop over at the Idea Pump and ask me questions there. Um, I'm always looking for ways to help people get more out of their use of OneNote. So good luck and let me know how it goes for you.